this is Cheryl Rose with the Tipton County Museum. And today I want to take you on a personal tour of probably my favorite place here. This is the Pollinator and Herb Gardens. And this is for our Tipton County Museum Online Academy. Today is Tuesday, May the 19th. And due to COVID-19, the museum is closed, but the grounds and this garden and the nature trail are open from 9 a.m. until dark. So, we're gonna start with a little tour of the beds. And this is four sections and each one is devoted to a special herb or plant. This is our medicinal herb garden. This, these, these gardens were developed basically one year at a time. So this one is the least developed of our beds but I want to point out a very important herb. And as you can see, it has beautiful purple blossoms. This is comfrey. Comfrey is known as the healing herb and it's been used for a long, long time to treat wounds. It's supposed to heal very, very rapidly. So that's a very important herb to have in your medicinal herb garden. Also, right over there by the red salvia, you can barely see it because it's coming back up from roots, but that is marshmallow. And it's just like it sounds. You can take and dig the roots and you boil them and you get this gelatin-like and you can add sugar and you end up with marshmallows. And that has been used as a confection from Egypt on up. So it's in the hollyhock family, so it looks a lot like hollyhocks, but that's marshmallow. Now, this is our tea herb bed. And everything in here can be used to brew teas. One of the favorites, this seems to be all of the all of children's favorite. This is apple mint. Uh, I say it smells like juicy fruit chewing gum to me. It is a spearmint, but it smells very, very good. You can uh, use it in teas, or you can even use it in like a fruit salad. It is in the mint family, so it can become aggressive. It started out as a four inch pot, and you can see where it is. But this is a wonderful, wonderful herb to grow. And when it blooms, it is covered in butterflies. Right over here, where you have the three plants in the triangle, that is lemongrass. Lemongrass is used in a lot of herbal teas. And also, supposedly, lemongrass repels mosquitoes. So it's a great decorative plant. It repels mosquitoes, and you can use it in teas or in Asian cooking. It's used a lot in Asian cooking. On the corner back over there, that is lemon balm. Lemon balm is another important tea herb. Lemon balm uh, supposedly has a calming effect if you brew a tea from it. All right, now let's move back here to the culinary herb bed. As you can see, we have a border here of what looks like grass-like plants. This is garlic chives. Garlic chives are great. You can chop it up. If, anytime you want a mild garlic flavor in anything, chop it up and use it. All right, we also have pineapple sage. It smells like pineapple. Over there is lavender. We have oregano. Marsh, marjoram, thyme, all pizza herbs, parsley, and dill for the butterflies, for the eastern black swallowtail butterfly caterpillars. We have rosemary. But last but not least, my favorite bed in this project is the pollinator herb bed. These bright yellow flowers you see blooming, this is Coreopsis. We have coneflower, we have bee balm, butterfly bush, Black-eyed Susan, Phlox, but most importantly, the most important plant to me in here is milkweed. The reason it's my favorite plant is because it is the host plant for the monarch butterfly caterpillar. And so it's very important to have that to help maintain the monarch population. And of course, because of all the work we've done here by the Tipton County Master Gardeners, we've been able to get all these certifications. We're a certified backyard wildlife habitat, we're a certified monarch way station, 
and a certified pollinator habitat. By the way, the Tupi County Master Gardeners maintain this bed and they fund this bed. So we're very grateful to them for doing this for us. So in a few weeks, we'll be back to tour again when it should be prime butterfly season. There should be butterflies all over the place. So come see it and come utilize the, the grounds in the trail.